Thank you very much, Allison and Dan and all members of the League of Charter Schools. Being awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award is a tremendous honor. I'm deeply humbled. When I got into teaching 26 years ago, I was transitioning off of active duty in the Army. I was excited about the opportunity to teach, but expected I will only do it for a few years. Now, as I reflect on my experience 26 years later, and especially in light of this past year with COVID, three key thoughts come to mind. The first is that education is a gift. The value of the gift is highlighted in every case where someone is deprived of it. This has been the case across history, but has been particularly demonstrated over this past year as we have wrestled with the challenges of COVID quarantines and school shutdowns. Providing an education gives a gift. In the providing of it, we provide a source of stability to our students, their families, and our communities. To the extent we are successful, we provide long-term stability for both our students and our nation by developing individuals who can function rationally and responsibly as members of the liberal democracy that is the core of who we are as a country. I'm proud to be part of a profession whose sole intent is to give this gift, to grow young human beings toward their full human potential by teaching them the knowledge and skills they need for immediate use and functionality in society, as well as guiding them in pursuit of the enduring qualities of truth, beauty, and goodness that provide purpose, direction, and joy in life. I'm particularly proud to be in association with other educators, with each of you who on a daily basis put your physical and intellectual efforts into finding better ways to educate children and to ensure that each child and family, regardless of background, financial means, or color of skin, has the choice of an excellent education. My second key thought, which has been hammered home by our COVID experience, is that every day with kids is a blessing. Students are the reason we have taken up this vocation. They bring our schools to life. In the recent uncertainty of COVID, we've learned to treasure each day, each moment with our students. We can't count on having the opportunity tomorrow, so we must teach students all we can and show them how much we care every time we see them. Finally, as you all know, education is a team sport. The Vanguard School has been incredibly blessed since opening in 1995. Our current staff is larger than our original student population, and our current student population is now approaching 1,600 students. Our facilities have expanded from a single rented converted warehouse, which was shared with a post office, to now owning two campuses and eight separate buildings. Our program has developed from a K through eight to a K through 12, and we've expanded our extracurricular opportunities for our students through an outstanding arts program a full slate of athletics, a variety of clubs, and other activities. Across that time, our name has changed from Cheyenne Mountain Charter Academy to the Vanguard School. We've had two different authorizers and three separate bond issues. This all takes teamwork. I talk about my school because that is the one I know about. I'm very proud of the Vanguard School, and I know each of you have similar stories of remarkable growth and development which highlights this point. You all know that this kind of growth and development is not the result of any singular person. It is a team effort. The success of the Vanguard School has been built on the work of a visionary founding group, constructive board members, a supportive chartering district, a highly talented leadership team, engaged students and parents, and an extraordinarily dedicated staff who makes the mission happen each day in the classroom. I'm proud and deeply appreciative to have been part of such an amazing team that has made the Vanguard School successful for our community. I gratefully and humbly accept this award on behalf of all who dedicate your work to growing kids, and especially 
the outstanding team I've been blessed to work with over this past quarter of a century. Thank you very much.